It's becoming spring in the valley, while Old Man Winter is busy keeping the dream alive up in the Alpine. Ten ladies have traveled from all over BC and Alberta, and as far away as Ontario and Maine, to rip it up in the Pemberton backcountry. Add in guest coach, aka finger throttle to the bar, shredder and all round nice guy, Cody McNulty, and you have yourself the 2017 She Shreds Jumps and Drops Clinic for Advanced Riders. I'm not gonna lie, I made an Instagram video that was like, I'm hanging out with 10 girls. Where else could this happen? I'll tell you where else, nowhere. <laughs> It's awesome to have Cody out. He's obviously good at jumps and drops, but he's also really good at teaching and breaking down technique in general. He has an unbelievably positive attitude in the backcountry, and he's stoked to see riders progress based on a solid set of fundamentals. Feeling pretty nervous. It's definitely like I'm pushing my boundaries for sure. I mean, being only my second year in the backcountry, like I'm getting pretty comfortable with things, but knowing that I have a good group of people around me is definitely gonna help. We start on smaller features to establish technique, then we move on to bigger features. So she's a smart woman, right? She wanted to see it for herself. What I'd like to achieve at this clinic is just my confidence in the backcountry, cheering on my friends as we challenge it and start uh, pushing myself to that next level to get comfortable doing a few drops and starting to hit those jumps and just read the terrain better when I'm out riding. Small jumps are great to begin with. You can put your fears aside and focus on jumping. When your skis are going to touch on the landing, what are we doing? Push it. Bam, right? We're pushing in, we're counteracting our suspension, making it rebound, taking away that body slough, right? Get it, got it, good? Yeah. All right. Consistent speed seems scary when you're coming in, but it's actually the safest thing you can do. gonna be a rowdy day. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little demo for you guys because it's a nice soft landing. I can take it with my broken finger here and uh, so you guys can see kind of my entry um, my entry and then you guys can see how much speed that you're gonna need as well. Everyone is pretty stoked on the way that looked and how nice the soft landing was. Everyone's confident with this one. Natural jumps with wide open landings provide a great opportunity to begin hitting jumps with more speed, something that's very challenging when you are learning to jump. Uh, the lineups were getting bigger and bigger on the mountain for snowboarding, so I got a snowmobile to go up the backcountry for snowboarding initially, but then I ended up leaving the board behind and just taking my machine. <laughs> Day one was a step down jump that, in a true form of progression, saw every girl hit it. Yes, I was pretty nervous at the top. Someone had a pretty bad crash just before I went, but I was like, okay, I need to do it now because if I think into it too much, I might like bail out. You have an adrenaline rush and you just want to push yourself 
so you can do it. Watching the other girls go gives, gives you confidence. Um, and then once you hit it and then go down, you hear everybody cheering you on. It's such a good feeling. You just want to keep going again and getting better and better. In my eyes, it was pretty awesome that by the end of the day, they were confident in the skills they had established. Every girl went off that jump. Drops are awesome because they are different beasts depending on how you look at them. From the bottom, they totally make sense. Once you're at the top, however, they often look totally different. Definitely a lot more intimidating coming around and actually stopping at the top on your sled and looking over it and then going, all right, I'm gonna have to just wrap, wrap right off this. Taking the two different views and building up the mental confidence to challenge the drop is what makes the drops so rewarding for the riders. Down here at the bottom looking up, it really didn't look so bad. Um, and I kept thinking, you know, this is going to be fine, like it looks like a nice soft landing. And then I got up there and my heart was pounding and I was walking to the edge and totally intimidated by a drop that really from the bottom didn't look that bad. And really I contemplated it for a little bit, I, you know, I really can't get injured, that sort of thing. And Julian's like, you can do this, I know you can do this, and just went for it and it was fine. It felt awesome by the time we landed it, knowing that I did it, it was fine, came out perfect and I could do it again now. I was on my sled and I'm like, okay, yeah, now I just have to give it gas. <laughs> and any time now, I gotta go. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I really have to but go. It's kind of, it's, a, it's good to recognize <laughs> yeah. how much you have to think about stuff, right? Yeah. Like, you all knew you had to land on the gas, yep. but our human body, when you fall, what does it do? It goes it's into... Like... <gasps> Yeah. Mode, right, so you, it's it's hard to concentrate on doing that, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, girls. Yeah. 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 Good job. <laughs> I just want to have the confidence to approach a natural drop and be able to do it without hesitating because when I hesitate then it doesn't go as it's supposed to. Leaving the clinic this weekend, I feel so accomplished, so proud, so happy. I love riding so much and this is just another window that's been opened in uh, ways that I can challenge myself on my free time. My name's Tiara and I'm from Grand Prairie, Alberta. My name's Genevieve and I'm from Doss Creek, BC. I'm Katie and I'm from Ontario. My name is Jessie Poirier, I'm from Murdochville, Gaspésie in Quebec and I now live in Pemberton, BC. My name is Andrea Sear and I'm from Naples, Maine. My name is Pam Hewitt, I'm from Dawson Creek, BC. My name is Haley Ald and I'm from Squamish, British Columbia. Yeah, my name's Angelisa Edwards and I'm originally from Catepa Lake, Saskatchewan. I'm, but I'm now living in Squamish, BC.
Riding in such a big group of women is honestly one of the most amazing feelings ever. Everyone convoying to the parking lot in their jacked up trucks with their sleds, unloading, just like the friendship, the encouragement, the support, like you don't get to do this very often. So the fact that we get to experience this, we're so lucky. Being able to step into this with an all woman environment, uh, it's been really fulfilling. These girls set goals, they achieved them, uh, even through some carnage. Some of the girls had some wrecks. They got back on their sleds on Sunday. They re-stepped up to the plate and, and they conquered those goals. And I think that satisfaction for me is a new element of riding that I haven't experienced and I really, really enjoyed it.